Hello, hi, hope you're doing all right. You're welcome to this Flutter Flow tutorial. My name is Paul and it's so good to have you here. So I've been working on a couple of apps recently and one of the major feedback from Apple, and I think you must have noticed that when you submit your app, app to the Apple Store, it's that your users must be able to delete their account as easy as they are able to log into the account. So if, if you are using the Flutterflow delete, um, if you're using the Flutterflow delete user, delete user flow, it's not going to work directly. I guess you must have tried, tried that, you know, delete um, user. It's not going to work directly. You are going to try it over and over again and it's not going to work. So I tried this and I got some feedback, you know, went back and forth and I think I found that how you also you'll be able to delete a user from your firebase not deleting it from your um, database here but also deleting it deleting it from your firebase account because that's where it is if you're not able to delete the user from the firebase account it's not really going to work right so the first thing first is to set up your firebase rules which is very very important set up your firebase rules and make sure that you are able to write to it so you are able to write to it authenticated user is able to write to it or your user collection is able to write to it and for delete say the user collection is able to delete it right so that this user is able to delete his account right this user is able to delete his account that's what you want to do and also you want to you don't want to sign in tag user don't worry just forget about that so this user is able to select delete the account and you just deploy right that's what you want to do but if you have other data that belongs to this particular user you want to say tag users are able to delete their account so that if i have if this user has anything tagged any data in that particular collection it will be deleted alongside with the user collection right so that's what you want to do first and, and then you want to go to you want to make sure you set up your firebase correctly you know you've connected your your um you've connected your firebase and you have your project id there and you've generated your config file that's something that you want to make sure you do and then you would come back to your account so first users are able to create account so that the account can reflect on your firebase id and then <clears throat> this is how you would create a couple of um you would create you go to your settings so i did my my settings you can do it anywhere so when a user click on delete account i will i'm going to show a model right so i'm going to click on add action so take my video here i'm going to click on add action i'm going to say create a dialogue you know i'm going to show a a dialogue that's what i'm going to do and i like dialogue you could use a bottom shape you could use anything but i'm going to show an add dialogue that's what i'm going to show and I'll show a custom dialog. And that custom dialog is going to be called confirm delete. That's what I'm going to call, call it. So delete confirm. So because what I want to do, I want to show the user a a dialog in order for them to to you know to give them the opportunity to say no, I'm not going to um, delete my account anymore, right? I'm not going to delete my account anymore. So I'm going to add it to the middle, just like so. I'm going to put it in the middle, right? And then I'm going to go to this delete confirm. So you see, I'm going to go to this delete confirm here. This is the delete confirm button. Are you sure you want to delete your account? Say no, it should go back. So when I say no, I want to navigate them back. I want to, you know, I want to hide, hide. I want to dismiss it. You know, I just want to dismiss the, the dial box. That's what I want to do. So dismiss, right? And if they say yes, then I want to hide this dialog box and I want to show them the other one. So I'm going to dismiss this dialog box, right? That's, that would be the first action. Dismiss this dialog box and then I will um, show, I would um, show a dialog box again, right? As I'm going to do, I like dialog. I'm going to show custom one and I'm going to show um, delete your find account. Right, that's what I want to show, and I also want to put it in the middle. So the two times that I'm going to show this, I'm going to give the user the chance to say no. So this is the other one I'm showing right here. I want them to say no. If they say 
card cancel so that's why the cancel is in blue so they can see that more and the delete account is in you know just pretty dull pretty hidden a little bit but you can still see it so here again i'm still gonna go here and add and add a, an action add an action that says dismiss so i'm going to not dismiss bottom sheet i'm going to dismiss custom dialog right i'm going to dismiss it that's what i want to do you don't want you don't have to add any other action on on the dismiss because it's on top of the page right so you don't have to add anything then this is the way it's choosing so right here you can see i have a test password enter password so first this makes it pretty hard for a user to delete the account because you have to tell them to add their password and you want to verify that this is the user right of the account because you don't want somebody who's anonymous to delete an account from your from your um, database it's not going to be nice so this is a password feed so let's go down this way on the side I'm gonna go down here and make it a password feed. So this is a password. So I'm gonna turn this into a password feed. So this is a password feed, right? So I'm telling them enter your password, right? So when they enter their password, first of all, the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna sign them into their account right to confirm that that's the password so this is what we're going to do this will ensure that the deletion happens because in firebase the deletion has to be pretty fast they have you can only delete a recently signed in account right on firebase if you think it's otherwise please leave it, leave it in the comment section but from what i've read it i've read in the doc but from what i've read in the doc you can only delete a recently signed in account so i'm going to add an action i would say log in so I'm going to log the user in, log in, and it's going to be an email, and I'm going to click right here to say from variable, and it's going to be authenticated user email, and password is going to be the password feed. I'm not going to navigate anywhere. Then the next thing I'm going to do, if the user is logged in, so I'm going to add a, I'm, not, I'm going to add a conditional. So this is my login. I would say if user is logged in now. So if user is logged in, even though the user is already logged in, but we want to see if the password is correct, right? If the password is correct, if the user login was successful, right? So if you current user, so if user is logged in, so we want to we want to delete the user record. Want to delete document, right? Want to delete the document first. We're going to delete the document where this user has a reference, right? So that we can delete everything in the account because that's how Apple does it. Apple needs you to delete everything they have in the account if they were, um, if they created a chart or if they created any records in the chart. You're going to delete it and all every other reference. So then we're going to delete the user, delete the user. So we're going to delete the user and after deleting the user so we can say you can bring up a button sheet you know start to see you go take ask them to take a survey anything you want to do is fine but we delete the user and then we navigate back to our entry page right we navigate back to our login login page or create account with anyone you want to you want you want to log into or you want to navigate to it's fine, right? So I'm navigating back here, right? And then if the user is not logged in, so I'm going to say, sorry, your password is not correct. So I'm going to show a snack bar, show snack bar and say, sorry, password is, password is incorrect. Right, so password is incorrect, right? And then they will keep on trying again and trying again and trying again. So that's it. Let's go test it out. The, 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 the thing here is I learned this why submitting applications on Apple and Google. Majorly Apple, so mainly Apple. So if you're somebody who's building applications for the American market, Apple definitely requires you to be able, for users to be able to log out of the account, 
for users to be able to delete their account and also for users to, to be able to request the, the data in their database. Those are things that you want to think about, request and, you know, so that means in your application, users' data will have to be represented in such a way that you can send it to them via CSV. You can send that data to them via CSV or via Excel spreadsheet, anyhow you want to send it to them, but you can send them those data, especially if you are playing in like a chat space, in a social media space, where, where data is being traded and data is very, very important. So you want to, you know, create modalities for that and be able to send them all of those. So now let's test what we've created. So we have Paul, username, test user, gmail.com, password. So we have our password here and then we have password. We have a password here, create an account. We can see we created an account called test user. Right, it's been created already. So let's go delete that same account. Click on delete account. Say yes. Put a password. Say delete account. So we can see the account itself has been deleted. So let's go back here, refresh. So we can see it's our account. So that's the way you will delete a user from your database and you will be able to get your app past Apple um, Apple verification, you know, the Apple team will OK your app and you'll be able to publish your app. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you have a question, feel free to leave it in the comment section and I'll do well to answer you. Thank you so much. Bye.